I literally. If you happen to look up, you might have just seen this. What could that be? Tell me. People do occasionally look up, and and we'll we'll see it. What is that? It's like somebody's towing something. Yeah. A strange train of light slowly creeping through the sky, captivating British Columbians far and wide. It blows their mind. It left many people in awe, wondering what in the world was flying above. SpaceX, through the Starlink project, operates about 40% of all satellites in low Earth orbit. Their method of just launching so many satellites at once in order to maintain this large constellation uh, is why we're seeing these sites, just because now it's frequent enough that people are actually able to notice that. Three, two, one. Lift off the Falcon 9, go Falcon. Go this Falcon. is the initial deployment. 40 and 60 satellites all at once, and uh, they're, they're uh, stacked tightly. There's uh, such a low orbit that they're also very, very bright. I literally have never seen... Is that like... Over time, it spreads out. As the satellites are tested to make sure that they're operational, and then they're raised to their higher orbit where they are going to have their, their main mission. According to this expert, its dazzle might come at a cost. There is a real chance for having a uh, collision, uh, a big a space accident, and that has uh, ramifications for everyone who's operating in space. Pollution is also a concern. Changes to the upper atmosphere can be actually quite uh, non-trivial and affect what we do here. And also, all those satellites that are going up, they're going to have replacement cycles of about five years or so. And all those replacement cycles uh, mean that you're burning up a lot of material into the upper atmosphere. For now, they might feel light years away. There are also uh, risks to people on the ground from a lot of the material that's uh, re-entering. Your individual risk is very low, but the oh. risk to society of something happening is non-trivial. Wow. What is that? Like Elena Kelly, Glacier Media, Vancouver.